Hey guys, this is Stormy with AndroidSpin.com giving you a look at Ice Cream Sandwich ROM up and running on the Samsung Vibrant also known as the Galaxy SI9000 um, just installed it, made a few minor adjustments it's changing the haptic feedback on the keyboard just things that none of you guys would notice um, it booted up easily uh, the installation was a piece of cake we simply threw a kernel on the ROM itself, booted into recovery, wiped everything, flashed the kernel, rebooted the phone into recovery, turned the phone off, rebooted back into recovery, flashed the ROM, flashed the kernel, and booted. Uh, of course, I'd run through and do all the sign up stuff um, to get my account synced back up, of course. Um, <clears throat> after it was installed, the only issue I had with root permissions. Uh, there's a simple root fix file. Just updates the super user APK and gives you root back. Uh, piece of cake, everything was easily flashed. I'm going to the apps here. Look how quick it is. Pop into widgets. See all your various widget options. Um, you can go to I'll add YouTube on here real quick. Takes a second for it to load up. But what you will see and what you will love is the uh, flip effect works perfectly. Both directions. Works really nice. I'm uh, going to go to the dialer. I uh, make, you know, make phone calls, do whatever, text messaging, all your standard stuff works. The only thing that does not appear to be working currently, uh, according to the ROM hosters is uh, the video camera the regular camcorder or the regular camera works just fine uh, take photos of course sitting in my dark living room right now first time I've loaded the camera up so that might take it a second the camera of course it's not quite as uh, amazingly responsive as in the video of course because this is still different software let's see if we go to video what it does record Doesn't. I don't want to take the uh, I'll allow you to add the soft keys at the bottom of the screen if you want, but I can confirm that the hardware keys are mapped correctly for menu, home, battery button work also. I haven't run into it here. Wi Fi settings. Under advanced, uh, you'll be able to avoid poor connections. Um, I will report it, of course, to the developer, but I was standing right next to my router and it kept telling me I had a poor connection and I kept disconnecting my Wi Fi. Uh, as soon as I unchecked that avoid poor connections, stayed on fine. As you can see up there on my indicator, I've got full, full Wi Fi strength. But all the settings seem to be working. Um, battery has been up for 35 minutes. Uh, don't take the 86% as full discharging, um, as you know, losing 14% in only 35 minutes. Uh, that is also due to flashing the ROM. I was at 95 when I flashed, rebooting, doing all that fun stuff. So I'm definitely going to give it a full discharge and recharge and we'll see how the battery goes from there. But so far so good. And I don't know if it will still record lock screen. 
That looks like it's still recording. Awesome. And you see it's got a few little slow hiccups here and there, but so far compared to every other ice cream sandwich from I've seen, everything functions on this that anyone could need. Uh, I've even heard, seen in the GPS is fully functional, which was always a headache or a hiccup with uh, CM7 ROMs even on the Vibrant. So if you want to give this a test, uh, follow the links below and uh, report back your, your experience. It was a pretty easy one to to install and uh, there's no prerequisites you don't have to Odin back you don't have to be on a specific ROM or do anything crazy worked out really nice take care guys and have a good rest of your week